Hello, my name is James Wisen. I'm the youngest of six boys. I have the best older brothers that you could have. I have a really smart, like, the smartest oldest brother. I'm Matt. I'm the oldest of six boys. Um, we grew up in a small area in Northern California, but like way Northern California. Uh, the second oldest brother loves to bake. He's an amazing baker. Hey, my name is Nate Wisen. I'm the second of five brothers. I'm 25. Third oldest. Um, he's crazy. He's just crazy. He's, he's out there. He's crazy. Well, hello. My name is Ben Wisen. I am the third eldest of the brothers Wisen. Um, some people say the most mature and the handsomest and also the most humble of the brothers. I wouldn't say that myself. The fourth oldest. <laughs> He's amazingly funny and gifted with music. My name is Peter Wisen and I have five brothers, no sisters. And I am the fourth brother in the line. So, I believe there's an old saying that the fourth is the best. Confucius said that. No, he did not. The one right above me is, is amazing at designing stuff. Hello, I am Johnny Wisen. I am the fifth out of six boys. My brothers are at college now. It was kind of sad when they left because having four of your five brothers leave suddenly, well, not suddenly, but just leave is kind of like, wow, well, I didn't expect that. Four of my brothers went off to college at once. I, as I said, the fifth one, all of a sudden became the oldest son at home. Meanwhile, all the duties and responsibilities fell to me. So it was definitely interesting. So, so when the four of us all went to college, like the, the two younger guys were still, at that time they were still in like uh, grade school and junior high, and so they stayed at home. Mom had been a teacher, so when we were born, she homeschooled us. We all um, left homeschooling and went to the junior college at the same time, and then all came to UCSD at the same time. And when we did that, we decided, why live with weirdos you don't know, when you can live with weirdos you do know. It was also weird just going from a, a very big family to kind of living more by myself, although I did live with my brothers a lot more. It was just different for me. Actually, the weirdest thing was going to college and being able to find places where you're all alone and, and your mind starts working and you're like, wow, this is a different world. Sometimes, like, People who have known our older brothers are all like, hey, you're a wise in. Like, I expect a lot from you because your brothers are awesome. High expectations, but fun to up to There were many challenges that I had. There were just so many brothers. It was really hard for me to get the attention that I needed. There were so many people vying for the attention, just always kind of asking for it, begging for it, but I somehow managed to press through and develop my own personality and my own personhood. I'd say the biggest thing was there was never any space where you could be alone. We lived on half an acre and we had a giant farmhouse, but you couldn't go anywhere where you were by yourself. Some of us still um, use star large stuffed animals to kind of overcompensate and somehow that helps, it helps us cope like a little bit I think. We all had stuffed animals and it, it was so much fun because we used to have these epic wars. We took all the armor and accoutrement from G.I. Joe's and we, we loaded up our stuffed animals with them. And then we used to go to the Salvation Army and get as many other little stuffed animals as we could find. We had about 50 each and we loaded them up with weapons and we used to carve swords and knives for them. We used to uh, get our stuffed animals and we would try and film stop motion videos of the epic battles that they would have. We used to have massive stuffed animal battles with those and it was tons of fun. When we, uh, 
we uh, uh, tried to uh, portray like the violence that went on between these stuffed animals is we had an old pillow and we pulled the stuffing out of it and started throwing it around the scenes. <laughs> Our days were playing in the backyard, chasing the chickens and the rooster around, um, riding the goats when mom would let us, you know. Knife throwing, that, that's real fun. Pellet rifles like shooting at targets. When it rains, we would go out to the duck pond and we would get a sheet of plywood put it on the ground, get a running start, jump onto it, and slide across the duck ponds. Uh, shooting my brothers with the captains was amazing and one of the most fondliest of my fondest childhood memories. We used to go out into our backyard. We had this giant 60-foot tall pine tree, and we would uh, climb up to about 12 feet high, which when, when you're only about two and a half feet tall or three feet is, is miles off the ground. I remember one time we built this awesome tree for it. It was like 40 feet off the ground. That that used to be the 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 like start off point for a lot of adventures that we would have as kids. And all the neighbor kids came over and they're like super jealous and they wanted to play in our tree fort. And we let them, of course we charged them. It's just amazing having older brothers. They give you gifts. Since I'm the baby, I'm showered with love constantly. Just growing with brothers, the nice thing about that is that you always have a friend to hang out with. The best thing about having brothers especially a lot of them, you have so many inside jokes that you can have an entire conversation and people outside of your little family group will have no idea what you're talking about. I think one of the coolest things uh, growing up was that whenever we got into a fight, our mom would always tell us that we were each other's best friends and that we had to make up just because of that. Uh, we were all each other's best friends and uh, it was a very positive experience. I don't know where I would be without my brothers. 